Hi, everyone. I hope everyone's having a great Wednesday. Uh, we'll be starting in about 15 minutes or so. So just uh, get your pen and papers ready, something to drink, maybe, and then uh, we'll go from there. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Morning. How you doing? How you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? I'm blessed. I see you got your coffee. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I sure enough do. I haven't got up to get mine yet. A rather. I got up and took my shower because I was hurting so bad. And I got mm -hmm. back in the bed and got under the covers. I know how that is. Because I had did that too before. Gave my hip mm, and fan me up. I can understand. Well, and I make sure I have the best job. I've been up early. I got the job. I had to take the thing down off in the witch car and put it on my hip. Well, the let water be down on it for a while. That's right. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. morning. It's awful quiet on the line this morning. It is. People still in the holiday mood, I guess. <laughs> um, That's a possibility. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. 
And if any of y'all going to the uh, the Christmas party next week at Stadium Armory? No, I ain't. It's the first time I heard about it. Uh, yeah, I'll be I'll be advertising that today. So it's um so funny that you brought that up because uh, uh, it, it will uh, it, yeah everyone in the program is invited. So I'll go over that with you in a few minutes. So you should have re everyone should have received an email yesterday about it as well. Oh, well, I checked my email. So um, shame, shame, shame. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I wonder where you were. Good morning. Oh, you know I was coming. So quiet. <laughs> Said the, good, good morning, morning how's everyone. How's everybody doing? Good. Good. With all the smiley faces. I see you, Diana Joyner. There, yeah. there you go. There's that smile. <laughs> how's everybody doing this morning? Super oh, fantastic. Good, good. Yes. Blessed. Blessed. That's and that's the word I want to hear. Blessed. Blessed. Going in and coming out. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Another gorgeous day. It might be baby. raining outside, but that ain't got a thing to do with us, right? No. That's it. <laughs> oh, let me see who's else is here. Let me see. Y'all kind of quiet this morning. Well, that's what I said because y'all weren't on here. Oh, oh, that's the one. <laughs> that, that, the noisy group is, is here now. <laughs> oh, no, you didn't. Who said that? That <laughs> Carolyn said it. I'm okay. not afraid. Hey, look. <laughs> yes, Mr. Sir. Spencer and Jean Moore. Why y'all not showing y'all beautiful faces? Come on, I can't see Good them. Good morning, snap. everyone. This is Good Sylvia. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> hey, Miss Helen Ayers. And Carolyn Underwood, Jean. Girl, Moore. I don't tell call you, all y'all Y'all don't want y'all don't want to show y'all faces, right? Not today. Oh, okay. Hey, Miss Teresa DeBoer Washington, representing the Washington. Okay, Angela Robinson. And if I mispronounce y'all name, y'all better correct me so I can say it right the next time. Okay. Hey, Miss Sylvia Spinner. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning. <coughs> Good morning. Hey, Mr. Wayne, I see you there. I see you too. How you doing? How's everybody? Good. 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 Looking well. Looking good. I'm trying to keep up with you all. I got to keep up with y'all. Hey, Miss oh. Miss Mary Thomas, I'm seeing your ceiling, so I don't know where you probably gonna get something to eat. That's what's going on. <laughs> 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 Miss Diane, what you eating so early in the morning? What you having for breakfast? I had bacon, eggs, and toast. <laughs> oh wow! Shoot, I should have came over here. That sounds like the house of pancake meal. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I've been doing early this morning. I've been up till five. So wow, you get up that yeah. early? Use the time. Mm -hmm. Oh okay. So well, you get up at four fifteen, huh? Oh. Carolyn's been up since 4 15. What time do y'all go to bed? Six o'clock in the daytime? No, I know. Eight o'clock, I took my medicine, and my medicine makes me drowsy and all like this. So I'm in bed by eight. You know, last time I'm sleep by 8 30, is not no later than nine o'clock. So I get up early. Is this uh -huh. all the matter? Yeah, that's true. At least you're getting your eight hours of sleep. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, that's a good thing. And who was this? It was up four o'clock in the morning. Carolyn. Carolyn, don't be going to sleep in this class because you got I'm not going to sleep, girl. <laughs> don't you be going to sleep. Oh no, because I'm on a prayer, I'm on a prayer call at 6 a.m. every morning. Oh, okay. That's okay. a blessing. Mm -hmm. And look, I do I do I, I like the B screen back there in the back. Oh yeah, I try to brighten myself out. Since I can't be there, I gotta make it, fake it till I make it. 
No, because it's so, it's so tall for you. And so, I think that's the way. And then I'm like, oh, I'm going to go on that beach. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was on that beach. Relax uh -huh. instead of being here on this rainy day. Thank you, Ron. Lois, are you going to the Christmas uh, party at the uh, armory? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I, I'm still not, you know, uh, ready to be around a, a crowd, to be honest okay. with you. Okay, okay. No. Hey, Miss Dina White, I see you. How you, there you go, that smell. There you go, that smell. You think I don't be watching you. I'll be watching y'all. <laughs> you you got your mic or, um, off, Miss Dina? I mean, Miss Dina. Good, good morning. I'm on with Verizon. They're trying to tell me I don't have a house phone. You don't have a house phone? <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you, I can hear you too, okay. sweetie. I like I, yeah, it's, it's cra it, this is crazy. Well, you know, people don't are have a house crazy. Phone. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a house phone. I got a house phone and a and a uh, uh, a um a wireless cell phone. phone. Cell phone, yeah. I said, well, it's ringing. Somebody calling on it. <laughs> they know who to send that bill to. Exactly. Yeah, they sure do, don't they? I told them I, I'm trying to pay it because I didn't get a bill this month. So I'm trying oh. to pay it. It's due today. I, mm. and, and I sent a check to Verizon Wireless that from Can on, the see 20, this? on the Who 26th. Can you see it? Oh, that is gorgeous, Dina. You made this that? This is the telephone wire I was telling you about. Oh. Oh, wow. You made that? You can make them bigger or however you want and then, you know, design them. Are you crocheting? Yes, I crochet, but this is something my grandmother taught me. Keep it still, dude. Stop moving it, um, Dina, for I can see you keep moving it. Keep it still. That's, That's beautiful. It. And you say it's wires. Telephone wires. Telephone wires. You know, when they pull the uh, wires out the telephone box. Oh, really? That and is my grandmother cool. had done cleaning at night. And that's uh -huh. what the women, uh, I don't know who created it, but they would make them and sell them. You can make them big and make ruffles on the end. You can make them oblong, however you want to shape them. Mm, that is beautiful. Nice. But yeah, I, nice. I wanted Very to clean nice. it, but you know the wires come in different colors. Right. All right, somebody got a TV on. Why don't we just tell them This is there? better than crocheting. <laughs> You got a lot of patience in doing it. How long did it take you to do that, Miss Dina? Well, it depends on how I feel, you know. Okay. I would do it in the past time because I'm, you know, now that I'm home, you know, I could do this, you know, I would have more time, put it that right. way. Right, right. Yeah. But I haven't done it in a, a good while. But oh, this was okay. one I was just showing somebody at one time. Uh huh. Cause this is stretched out, and then I fold, bent it, and then pinched it on the sides to make it look roughly. That look nice. That really it does. Yeah, that look nice. I like that telephone wire. My gracious, y'all very creative on this on this um, um um class. And then you can make earrings out of them, or if I need something tied, plants or something, I mm -hmm. use it for anything. Well, you did a fantastic job, that's for sure. You know, you started there in the middle, and it's like crocheting. Mm. Yeah. Good morning, Good morning, beautiful men and women. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning to you Good morning. all. Hey, Kim. Hi, Brenda. <laughs> How are you? And everybody else's name, and Diane, and all Good the morning. Hey, hey. Good Another morning. Diane. Tracy. Hey, Hi. hey. hey. That's what I'm talking about. Hi. Hello, how are you Hello. doing today? I'm good, and you? Yes, Miss Brenda. Yes. This Diane, how you doing today, Brenda? I'm doing good. Hey, how you doing, Diane? I'm all right. How are you, Kim? I'm Brenda? doing good. Yeah, yeah all Diane you ladies and, Brenda, and gentlemen. Good. All is well. All is well. God woke yeah. us up this morning. Yes, That's he did. Right. That must be Thelma. Miss <laughs> Brenda, yes, I remember you more so because of your baby. Really? Okay. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> My grandmother had 12 cats plus the outside oh, cat. Okay. And she would set plates at the table for all of them. Oh. And I start I started to hate them. <laughs> but as I got older, I said, well, I will at least have one. Yeah. I had to put my baby down. You know how that is. Oh, I know. Oh, I'm how old was your cat, Christina? How old was your cat? I don't know. You know, I don't know about oh. cat years. Uh-huh. I think it works the same as dog years, like seven years. I don't years. know their years. But a dog years is like seven years to one adult, you know, one uh, human years. Yeah, one year, seven years for the dog. Yeah, I think it works the same way with cats. But Miss Dina, this is my third Good cat. morning, yeah. everyone. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning. morning. Miss Julia. 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 This was my second one. Yeah. Yes, I have a problem. I'm sorry. Go Could y'all please help me? Yes. Okay. And the potato. Petition, put, petition uh, list. I have me in Karim's behind my name, and I don't know why. You Ms. have what? Jackson May, Ms. Jackson the, May said, Alex said that that's always the case. When, you're, when your name is says me, that's you, and he's the host. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that, that's, that applies to everybody. That's not a problem. Oh. Well. Yeah, that's that's everybody. Like when I look at my participant list, I'm at the top and it says me. Mm -hmm. And then the host is below or above. Yeah, I see so, that. Yeah, okay. That was, how do you okay. get to that participant list? Miss Brenda. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I, 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 I hadn't finished. May, excuse me. I didn't mean any harm. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm I, I so take I take, I, I take my picture to come in there like I see you, Miss Brenda. Your picture is here, Miss Jackson. We see you. I, I don't. I mean, oh, when I get ready to talk, I see y'all picture come up in the in the screen. Yeah. Well, well, we, we we see you and we hear you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, so you there? Well, well, why don't pop up and. In the full screen, like so, I said, huh? Now, if you wanted to see like a whole bunch of us at one time, you go to the left and you tap in those those three the I nine dots, that. and I you can see everybody. I I get that, um, but but this one individual, the full screen, you know, just just me, just like I see your face. I oh, I know what she's talking about. She just yeah. wants to see her face on a whole screen. I know what she's talking about. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We darling. see you when you talk. We see you. Yeah, we see your full face on the, the screen. No, yeah, she don't want to see talk. the gallery. She has to click off the gallery and, and just and then she'll just see her face. That's what she's talking about. Well, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, she just have to click off the gallery. I don't oh, oh okay. That's oh. what I want to know. How y'all how I get to the gallery to see everybody? Yeah. You I go to the left and you tap, and it's it, it's nine dots, and then you can see everybody. That, oh, I, see, so, I see, I see, I see. I've never been able to okay. pull up. Right. I see 12 of us now. Yeah. 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 I see you see my baby. <laughs> yes. Well, <laughs> I see. Yeah. 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 And if you want to see, if it's like a hundred and something people, if it's a hundred and something people on the get on, if you oh. want to stroll, take your finger and just swipe over to the next screen, you'll see every other all the other people too. Well, right. wait a minute, wait a minute. Y'all said something about nine dots. Yes, that's on the left side. You just tap, and the nine dots will come up, and then you'll see a gallery of people. You'll see. I'm looking at 12 of us now and I see you. <laughs> Hi everyone. I hope everyone is having a great Wednesday. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you for morning, coming on Alex. today. I know everyone still might be in the holiday mood. So if I didn't see you on Monday, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. So um, it's 1040. So 
uh, you know, I want to go ahead and get started so that way uh, we could be ready for today's one o'clock module. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and mute everyone. And then um, if you have any questions, please raise your hand and I'll answer them at the end. Okay. 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 Can you hear me, Dolores? Yes, I can hear you. Great. Uh, do you, would you like to be my helper today? Just to let me know if you can't hear me or see the screen? You do, okay, do you mind doing that for me? I Great, I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, again, I hope everyone's having a great Wednesday. So, um, you, know, uh, you know, I love my advanced training folks. So you guys are, most of the time you guys hear first about certain things. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Um, as mentioned uh, by some of you folks, uh, there is the um, Muriel Bowser uh, 24th Annual Senior Holiday Celebration. So everyone should have received an email uh, yesterday regarding this and where you can register. So it's next Tuesday, December 6th at 10 o'clock. Doors open at 9 a.m. So you have to RSVP at the link that is provided. And of course, you must provide your own transportation to go, but it's um I, I I will be in attendance, so I'm really looking forward to it. So please, if you are interested in attending, please look at your email for the link and uh, go ahead and register. All right, and then I would also like to um, go ahead and share with you the let's see. Sorry, it's one of these I have in here. <laughs> uh, the senior holiday party. So um, if everyone can write down that- But that's not holiday... showing, Alice. Alice, that's yeah, not showing. Yeah, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm just trying to look for the flyer. So, uh, but uh, just put write down on your calendars um, or a sheet of paper that the senior holiday party, so our party is on Tuesday, December 20th at one o'clock. So instead of a speaker, we'll be having a little party. So let me go ahead and find this flyer for you guys, sorry. Um, it will be also be sent to your emails, but uh, I just wanna show you guys what it looks like. Go ahead and share my screen. There you go. Yeah, I know it's a little small, but you'll be able to see it a bit larger when you guys receive it in your emails. But um, yeah, we have our Zoom holiday party on Tuesday, some December 20th from 1 to 2.15. And then we will be looking for um, seven participants for a virtual karaoke competition. <laughs> so I don't know how many folks of you were at the party last year. So, um, I, uh, you know, something similar, but of course we'll be also doing giveaways for um, different um, categories like best senior presentation, best dressed, most attendant, uh, attendees, attendances for the year and other prizes as well. So um, that will be a fun day. <laughs> we'll have different people from our organization, um, some of your trainers, some people from DACL, so it will be a great uh, Tuesday. So please join if you are uh, able to, okay? Yeah, let me go ahead and transfer my devices so you guys can see the presentation for today. And please, uh, I'll put in the chat if you can't see the screen, if you can't hear me. <laughs> okay, can you see that, Dolores? Yes. Okay, great, thanks. So today we're gonna be uh, going over the iPad's built-in calendar app. So I know I did this um, at the beginning of this month, 
And I know it was a lot of information. So I was um, really happy to be able to do it again. So that way you guys can ask me any questions about how to use the calendar app and you know you might learn something new. So <laughs> um, as usual, we have been doing um, library trainings at DC Public Libraries. So for today, um, our trainer, Ms. Caroline, will be at Petworth Library, 4200 Kansas Avenue from 1230 to 330. Um, I'll be at Northeast Library tomorrow, 337th Street Northeast, right there at 7th and Maryland from uh, 1 to 4. And then on Monday, our trainer will be at Anacostia, 1800 Good Hope Road, Southeast from 1230 to 3.30. Oh, uh, Brenda, the, the our party, the Wild Tech party, that's going to be the same Zoom link as usual. So you'll get that information um, in an email. So uh, for the link and the time and such, okay? So the calendar app allows you to create events, appointments, and meetings. It also allows you to view all of your calendar accounts and see your events in list, day, week, month and year view and add additional information to an event such as location invitees and alerts so i would say if you have a reoccurring event that you normally um, do um, during the year instead of putting in reminders because that's sort of like a to-do daily thing it kind of changes i would say if you have something more consistent the calendar app is a really great way to be able to view what you got to do um, in the next week, month, et cetera, okay? When you have your calendar all set up and such, it will look something like this. As you can see, they have different titles. You can edit information, different colors, and there are different things you can do in the calendars app. So that's what we're gonna go over today, okay? So how to open the calendar app. You can open the calendar app by tapping on the calendar widget or by tapping on the calendar icon at the bottom of the screen. So if I go ahead and go to my home screen, as you can see, the calendar widget is on the left hand side or so, but the calendar icon is at the bottom. So you can access the calendar either way. So if I open my calendar, it will look like something like this. So um, again, I have some events. Most of these events are recurring things. Some of them are one-offs just to keep everything organized for me, but this is what it will essentially look like, okay? So the first thing you wanna learn how to do is how to add an event. So in order to add an event, you simply tap the add plus button on the top of the screen. So if I go back to my calendars app, if you look at the top left of the screen, you should see four icons. So the icon to add an event is the plus icon or button. So once I tap on the plus, I can add a new event, okay? So in that uh, menu, you're gonna have uh, different things you can edit. So the first thing is the title, of course. You can add the title of the event. Uh, the next one is the location. You can enter the location of the event. The next thing you can do is edit the date and the time. You can edit the date and the time of the event. And as you can see on the right-hand side, you can um, add the dates, you can add the time, and you can also decide if you want the event to repeat, okay? The next one is the calendar. So you can choose which calendar you want to add the event to if you have different calendars um, in your app. And then you can also add or invite people to the event. So if I go back to my app, let's say um, title. Hmm, let's, let's, let me go ahead and put Dackle's holiday party. So Dackle holiday celebration. So that's the title. 
tells me what it is, pretty simple, right? The next is the location. So I can add the location. So uh, <laughs> I've never been to Stadium Armory before. So um, I always got to look, I think it's like 2001 um, East Capitol Street, I think. So let me go ahead and make sure that is right. Yeah. Sometimes I can automatically type it in. It's around Stadium Armory Station. So I could put that and bam, there's the location. So when I look at the when I look at the event, when I finish adding it, it will tell me where to go. The next is the date and the time. So I can choose to do it all day. No, it's not all day. So I leave that blank. It's on the sixth. So I have to scroll over to December six and then it starts at 10 great it ends at two so let me go ahead and edit that 2 p.m time zone here great travel time if i choose to add it i can um choose to uh, get a notification based on how long it will take for me to get there so you can choose to have that on or off the next is the calendar, so I can choose what um, calendar I want to add this event to. So let me choose my work calendar. And then I can choose to add invitees. So I can choose to add folks that are in my contacts. So I can, um, for example, add myself. <laughs> <laughs> Just on as, as an example. Mm -hmm. And then I'll hit done. And then that's one way you can invite people to the event. Okay. The bottom part of that menu, um, the first option you can do is set an alert. So you can set an alert to be reminded of an event beforehand. You can also uh, choose <coughs> to uh, show as or indicate if you are free or busy. You can add a URL or a website link. So you can add a link if you need to access, complete the event, and you can also add notes to the event like details and agendas. So if I were to go back to this event that we were creating, let me go ahead and go to show as. So I'll be busy. So that shows is busy. Yep, the alert, I can choose uh, to have it an hour before, 30 minutes before, 15 minutes before, you can, uh, depending on what you like, and you can also add a second alert. So if you want a second alert after the first one, you can choose a sooner or a, a sooner time for towards the event to choose. Okay, for the URL, if you need to add a website link, so I don't remember it off the top of my head, it was like tinyurl.com and such, but whatever it is, Let's do Google as an example. You'll be able to access the link through the calendar invite. And last is the notes. So it's going to be cold. So you can uh, write, make sure to not bring bag because they don't allow bags in the stadium armory. Um, set alarm. You can do, you can pretty much add any notes that you need in order to further complete the event. So once you have everything in, you can hit add. And there you go. If I go to the sixth, I can view that event and all the information. Okay. So we just add an event to our calendar. You can also use Siri to create an event. So you can ask Siri to create or state information about a meeting. So some examples include um, Siri, set up a meeting with Alex at 9.30, or do I have a meeting at 10? Where is my 3.30 meeting? Things of that nature. So I can't show it to you while we're on Zoom on the iPad. Let me see if it works on my phone so you can see how it will respond to something like that. So uh, let me try this. Hey Siri, set up a meeting with Alex Marshall tomorrow at 9.30. What's the name of the new event? 
general meeting. Just to confirm, do you want me to send Alex an invitation to general meeting? Yep, so it will go something like that, depending on um, what uh, you ask Siri. So same thing like on my phone, it will work on your iPad in the same manner. So you can use Siri to create an event or ask about information about the event, okay? <clears throat> you, can, uh, you can also delete, <laughs> you can also delete an event. So uh, simply to do this, you simply tap on the event that you want to delete and then tap on the delete event button at the bottom of the screen. So if I were to go back to this event we just created, as you can see, delete event is at the bottom of the screen. So even if I'm in a different view mode, let's say I go to the six, and then I tap on the event itself, and then at the bottom I can hit delete event in order to delete that event. Okay. How to invite others to an event. So you can actually invite people to an event that you scheduled. So you all you do is tap on the event and then tap edit near the top of the screen, tap invitees, enter the names or email addresses of the people you want to invite or tap the plus button to select contacts and then tap done. So we just did this when we were editing the event, but sometimes you may need to invite someone later. So if we go back to the calendar and we go to the event itself. So again, back to holiday celebration, you see this edit button. That's how you edit the event. So if I go down and then hit invitees, I already invited myself. But look, it gives you the option to invite more, okay? So all you do is hit add invitees and then add their name or select the contact, okay? You can also email all attendees. Uh, for example, to share event details. So you must tap the event that has um, attendees and then um, you tap on the email, uh, the letter icon. So once um, they've said that uh, they would like to attend, as you can see in the picture, there is the little email icon. You can press that button to send an email to all the folks that you have um, invited and that are attendees, okay? How to reply to an event invitation. So if someone sent you an event, this is how you can reply to them. So all you do is tap on the second icon at the top left and tap, in, tap an invitation and then tap your response, accept, maybe, or decline. And to view your invitation replies, you tap reply. So if I go back to my calendar app and then at the top left, look, I, that second icon, that's how you view basically your um, calendar inbox. So look, the one that I just invited to myself, it popped up. So I wanna, for this one, I will hit accept. And then once I hit replied, I can see all of the events that I've um, got in my inbox and, and replied, either accept, maybe, or decline. So the second box right here is how you view your calendar inbox or invitations, okay? You can also suggest a different event time. So you can suggest a different time for an event invitation you have received. So you must tap on that event and then tap on propose new time. You tap the time and enter a new one. You tap done and then you tap send. So I go back to my calendar. <laughs> yeah, and let me find a meeting that I got invited to. Okay, here you go, interest group. So let's say this event did not work for me. So it says propose new time. So all I would do is tap on that 
and then I would change the time. So I would, let's say that one o'clock didn't work, but two o'clock did. So once I do that, I will hit done and then hit send. So I don't wanna do it for this one, so I'll hit cancel. So in case you hit that by mistake or wanna change your mind, you hit cancel, propose time at the bottom. Okay, so that's how you can propose a new time to an event on the calendars app. You can change how you view events. So in the calendar app, you can view one day, a week, a month, or a year at a time, or view a list of upcoming events. So as you can see in the middle at the top, you can choose to view it by day, by week, by month, and by year. <laughs> so it just depends on what kind of scope you need to view. And in order to see your upcoming events as a list, you tap on the third icon at the top left. So it kind of looks like the reminders app, but you'll see that, hey, <laughs> let me go to today's date. So the 30th, you can see upcoming events, and then you can also view previous events. So there are different ways to view your events, either through day, week, month, or year, or by viewing it as a list. So whatever you like. You can also search for events you can, uh, by title, by invitees, by location, and by notes. So like most apps on your iPad, you can, there's a search button that you can use to search for things in that app. So if I go to my calendar app, like it says, it's at the top right. And then I can type in anything to search an event. So if I type Stadium Armory, which is the location, look, the, are the one that we just created, the event that we just created pops up. And then if I uh, do it by notes, so I made sure to write bags or bag. There you go, bag, even searching through the notes, you can find events that you've made a note to, okay? You can also customize your calendar. So to customize your calendar, like most things, you go to the settings app on your iPad and scroll and tap calendar. So let's do that right now, go to settings, go down to calendar, there it goes. And then you can edit certain things. So you can change your default calendar. You can choose alternate calendars like the Chinese, Hebrew, or Islamic calendar. You can add week numbers and you can do a multitude of things in the calendars, uh, the settings in, in the uh, calendar, okay? You can also set up multiple calendars. So you can set up multiple calendars to keep track of different kinds of events. Additional calendars are easy to set up and a great way to stay organized. So in order to do that, you must first tap on the calendars icon at the top left. So this is the last one that we haven't gone over yet. It's the first icon at the top left. So you can't miss it. Once you open that, you can see all of the calendars that you have and see which ones that you are currently viewing. So if I didn't wanna see my work calendar, I would turn it off. If I wanted to see it, I would turn it on, okay? <laughs> so once you, sorry about that. Do, yeah, so once you tap on that top left icon, you at the bottom, it should say add calendar, yep. Yeah? So at add calendar, you can add a new calendar if you so choose to, okay? So when you're at this menu, you enter a name for the calendar and then choose a color for it and then tap done. So let's see, calendar name, let's say I wanted to make a December, <laughs> no, let me not do that, a school calendar if I was still in school. <laughs> and then I would choose what color. So let's say green. And then I would hit done. 
So if I go down to my iCloud calendar, look, I just created school. And then if I hit the I, I can then edit it in different ways, okay? So again, you add a calendar by hitting the top left icon at the top of the screen. And then at the bottom left, it should say add calendar. You hit add calendar, hit it again, and then bam, you're, you can add the new calendar of your choosing. So you type the title and what color you would like the calendar to be, okay? You can also share your iCloud calendar with others. So you can share an iCloud calendar with other iCloud users. So Apple to Apple, when you share a calendar, others can see it and you can let them add or change events. You can also share a read only version that anyone can view, but not change. So in order to share it, you must again tap um, on that top left icon and then tap the information or edit button next to the iCloud calendar you want to edit or share. <coughs> so like I did, let's go to this one I just created for school. I tap on the I and then look, all these different options pop up. So if you want to share it, you tap add person and then enter a name, email, or tap the plus button to browse your contacts and then tap add, okay? So again, we go to, we're in the edit calendar menu. So if I wanna share it, I hit add person. And then just like before, you type in the email or the name. And you can add them, things of that nature, okay? To share a read-only calendar, you toggle on public calendar and then tap share link to send, copy the website link uh, for your calendar through mail, message, et cetera. So <clears throat> in order to share the read-only version, where again, they can only view and not um, edit or change anything, you tap on public calendar and make sure that it is turned on. Yep, and as you can see that share link button pops up. So once I tap on that, bam, I can uh, email it, iMessage it, et cetera. And they will be able to, again, view my calendar, but not change anything about the calendar, okay? And um, that's pretty much it. So I hope uh, you guys learned something new. Um, the library trainings are again posted right here, but um, if you have any questions, please raise your hand and then I will be able to answer them. But, um, you know, as you can see, the calendar app for me, um, you know, it keeps me organized. It, you know, keeps me, you know, on time and um, just knowing uh, what I'm gonna be doing the next day is, you know, really helpful in my life. So um, let me go ahead and uh, an answer these questions. Well, let me first check the chat. Do check the chat, check the chat. Okay, um, Teresa said, can you only send to people in my contacts or can I just type in the email address? So um, if, if that's regarding to an event, uh, sh sure, you can do the contacts. If that's easier, you would tap on that plus button or you can just type the email address. So it depends on um, if they're in your contacts or not. But either way, um, you know, either option is pretty easy. And then um, she also asked, uh, why would you want to add a link? So you would want to add a link because not all, you know, of these events are like physical, right? So if it was, you know, the senior holiday party. I would put in the senior holiday party link. So the Zoom link, and all I have to do is tap on that link when that event comes. So um, it's, you know, pretty convenient, especially if you need to like go to a website to register for the event or <coughs> put a link to um, access the event details, things of that nature.
Okay, um, first question is from uh, Greer Massey. I just asked you to unmute. How can I assist you? Uh, Greer Massey, can you hear me? Oh, uh, yes, Alex, I can. Uh, sure, how, how can I help you today? Good morning, all. I um, received the uh, Teresa's email yesterday regarding the uh, the mayor's celebration, festive uh, holiday mm -hmm. celebration. Yes, and I live in I live in a senior building, and I was trying to register everyone in my building that wanted to go, um, but I ran into problems when the individual did not have an email address and I was not able to register there. So what can I do to get them registered? Um, I'm not hundred percent sure, you know, as, as you know, this is not just a, you know, it's not a wild tech event, it's from DACL and such. So uh, I'm not hundred percent sure. Uh, because I don't want to say put your email because that would be yeah that that <laughs> no but, I, couldn't, uh, I, I I couldn't do that because I do have a a husband and wife um couple that lives in the building and I had entered the wife's name but then when I went when I went to to enter his name uh he didn't have one so I used his wife and it still kicked me out of the system and said. It had already been used. Oh, okay. I didn't. I didn't know if, if it worked like that. Um, what I can do is I can ask um, somebody if uh, what to do, and then I'll send you an email about. Yeah, it. I would appreciate that because all the seniors are unfortunate as we are to have uh, the equipment with the iPad, nor do they. Um, they aren't used to to uh, this tech, they are tech savvy. Mm -hmm. And so um, they don't have, they don't have a need for an email address. So uh, I want them to go, but you know, I, I don't know what to do because the system yeah. won't accept them. I understand, I'll, I'll uh, ask and then send you an email if um, I can uh, change anything about it. But um, I, I would say uh, just, just, Keep checking your email. <laughs> okay. 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 I appreciate yeah. that, Alex, so much. No problem. Thanks so much. Right. Have a great day. Thank you. You too now. Alex, you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. Sorry, I was um looking up something. Um, next question is from uh Teresa. Durbin, uh, uh, did I answer all of your questions in the chat? Yes, you did answer all my questions in the chat. The only additional thing was that when you get, if you're able to get the answer to the question about the mayor's Christmas party in the email, would you send that email out to everyone? Because I'm sure some of us have run into the same issue as I did. Um, I'm oh, sorry, is that, is that the, um, the mayor one the mayor. or is that? The yes. The yeah, mass Christmas you didn't, party. You didn't receive it. I I sent it out. I received it, night. and I tried. I received it and tried to register someone else who didn't have an email address, and they would not allow me to do it. So when you send oh. it, an answer, if you are able to find out an answer, and you send it out to the other lady, would you also send it to me? Yes, I have your name written down. I I um I'm gonna ask and you know see what I could do. It might be just a. Uh, you know, they have to put in the emails type of thing. I hope it's not that, but uh, I'll, you know, get an answer to you. So I got your name down. Okay, Teresa. Okay, thank you much. And thanks for answering my other questions in the, uh, in the chat, because when the meeting is going on in the morning, I'm busy um, taking care of my husband, giving him breathing treatment or water or milk mm -hmm. or something. That's why I use the chat. And thanks so oh, much yeah. for checking the chat. Appreciate it. Yeah, that's fine. No problem. Thanks so much. And you have a great day. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, next question is from Dina White. Just asked you to unmute. Hi, 
excuse me, Alex I saw an icon that said airdrop. Mm -hmm. I wanted to know what was airdropping. Okay, so airdrop, it's a feature. Uh, it's basically if uh, you if someone else has an Apple device, you can airdrop, you can send them a file just using that function. So um, if you if you don't have a you know another you know device or another Apple device, and um, I don't think you have to worry about it that much. But in case you do run across someone with an iPad or an iPhone, and you want to sh share a picture or a video or a file with them, that's what AirDrop is for. So if I wanted to contact someone else uh, with an, uh, does it necessarily have to be an, uh, uh, an Apple app? Um, so I, in reference to, so, okay. The, so the AirDrop is, it's literally if you are right next to the, person it, it's that type of connection so if you want to use airdrop they you would have to be face to face with them and you would have to have um both devices but um um can you repeat your question so i can best help you i wanted to know well basically for virtual conversation would my contact person have to have an Apple iPad. Yeah, so you're talking about like FaceTime, right? Yes. Yeah, so FaceTime, so on your iPad, you can FaceTime folks, but they have to have an Apple device. So an iPhone, an iPad, or an, a Mac, so an Apple computer. So it has to be an Apple device, but if they have that device, you're able to FaceTime them and, you know, call them through the, through the app, so. Oh, so the, the AirDrop, isn't the same no that's that's again like how you can share a file so at, okay. you see on my phone if i have my if this is my phone and then my tablet i can airdrop between the two okay that, it's it's because it's sometimes a lot easier than to um you know send an email or send in a message sometimes it's easiest to airdrop but um you know, I don't, I don't really use the feature, so. <laughs> okay. I don't, you don't have to be worried about it. Okay. Thank you. No problem. You have a great day. Thanks for attending. You do the same. Mm -hmm. um, next question is from uh, Yvonne Irvin. Just asked you to unmute. I think. Yes, uh, you thank you. Thank you, Alex. Um, Alex, once you enter an event on your calendar, uh, do you get a notification just as you do on your cell phone? Um, um, if you say, I'd like to be notified a day ahead of time or 15 yes. minutes ahead of time, mm -hmm. do you get some kind of notification and a little a beeping sound or something? <laughs> yes, Yvonne. So it's if uh, it's in the when you're editing the event or adding the event, that's how you can add a notification. So if you can see my screen, let me go to that event we created earlier, and then let me hit edit. So when I hit edit, there's an option that says alert, which is great. So the, there's an alert and then a second alert. So, oh, yeah. so if I hit alert, maybe um, for this one, I wanna be alerted two hours before and then since this is really important, I want to make sure that I know this event is happening. So I would set a second alert, maybe mm -hmm. like 30 minutes before. So okay. that way they will, they will receive a notification. Let me see if I have one on my iPad right now. Um, uh -huh. Is, is it written know. or will it be some kind of sound? It will, it will be a sound. It won't, it, it's not an alarm. That's what I can say. It's kind of a, like a beep or um, like, you know, maybe a, f a few beeps in succession, but it will appear in your notifications. So you just have to swipe on your notifications and you'll be able to see if you have it, but you also hear it. So make sure your iPad's volume is, you know, is up. So make sure it's pr pretty high up so you, you can hear it, okay? Okay, all right. Anything okay, thank else? you. No problem, Ms. Irvin, you have a great day. You as well. <laughs>
Okay, next question is from L Chapman. Sorry, I don't have, I don't know your first name. Can you provide me your first name? Yes, the first name is Linda Chapman. Uh, oh, this okay. Is, this is Make my sure. second time I've been ill for about two months. So I'm still dealing with COPD. So just wanted okay. you to know that um, I have on able now to sit through a class as much as I can. So just wanted you to know that I'm feeling much better and still recuperating from congestive heart failure. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm really glad that you're with us today. You know, we appreciate everyone's participation. And I hope, you know, Ms. Chapman, by like learning something new or during this time, um, you know, you, you might be forgetting, or you might be forgetting about, you know, maybe some of the not so nice things that, you know, you deal with in life. So hopefully, yeah. you know, this kind of brings you some solace and, you know, some peace and enjoyment and learning something new. So um, I'm glad you're still with us. And I yeah. uh, wish you luck. So just wanted to say to everyone, thank you group. And I'm certainly uh, enjoying the information as well that I'm learning is just refreshing me, but is you never can learn too much. So just wanted to say thank you so much for everyone. Thank you and welcome to the group, Linda. Okay. Thank you, you Miss Linda, you have a great day. And you do as well. Okay, <clears throat> next question is from Jacqueline Coachman. Just asked you to unmute, how can I help you? Um, yes, um, Alice. Um, I didn't get a, um, a email for for that. Um, for the <clears throat> Dackle um, holiday celebration. No, I didn't. You you said it's two of them. One is for on the sixth, and one is for another another day. Yes. So the sixth was the one that was sent out yesterday. <clears throat> That's okay. Dackle's holiday celebration. So. Um, just please check your email for that um, email. I'll also see if your email is correct in our system. So that way, if it's not, I'll send you an email. But just it should have sent around seven, eight o'clock last night. Oh, okay. So when when is the um the the second one? Oh, the second one. So that's our holiday party. That's on uh -huh. Tuesday, December twentieth, from one to two fifteen. <clears throat> So, so I'll, from, I'll, from one to two, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah basically so, one so to two. So where is that? Where is that going to be? That's that's going to be on the regular Zoom. So it's going to be on a uh, Teresa Zoom. So the one next week, next Tuesday, December sixth. That's at Stadium Armory, and you have to register at the link emailed to so everyone. So they're going then, to send me back a, a what a confirmation number or something? Um, yeah, all you have to do um, uh, uh, is when you hit register now, it'll send you to a website. Uh, I mean, when you hit the button to send it to the link with the website, you will hit register now and then register. And then it will probably send you an email back saying um, your confirmation and such. Okay. Okay, so if I wanted to register someone else, I know some majority of them do have their own email. So um, are they able to still participate too? By me yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a district-wide thing. So as long as they're 16 and above. Okay. Um, that's, that's fine. I, um, I, you um, know, if you um, can't register, I think you can still attend uh, Alex because a lot of seniors can't register, but they're not going to turn anybody away. You can still attend. Yeah, I mean, event. I, I'm not I'm not 100% sure. I kind of just learned about, you know, the party. So, I mean, the celebration. So um, I'm assuming you had to register. You know, it's better to be safe than sorry. No, so you don't I, have to. There's so many people, they can't check everybody at the door to see if you're registered. You can t attend. Oh, okay. So Have you been there before? Check ID yes, again. I've been before. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, thank you for the information, Yvonne, because I've never been and never Surely. heard of it before. So, um, mm -hmm. I, I mean, if that's the case, again, for, for you mm -hmm. folks on this call, you know, it's better to be safe than sorry. Just make sure you register at the link. But for other folks, you know, you know, if they can or can't, I, you know, I guess that's fine. But the mayor will guess... be happy to see the seniors, believe me. <laughs> Definitely. So 
um, thanks for that. So just, but you know, the information is there. So just be sure to check the email for um, the, all the information about it, okay? That's where I got my first ID from. <laughs> it was a really? senior ID, yes. Oh, just, wow. A senior I ID, know, and you can use that as a bus pass. Yes, and you can use it as a bus pass. Or subway pass, and you also get into government buildings. Oh wow! Well, that's cool information that I I didn't know myself. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, thanks so much, Miss Coachman. Uh, let You're me welcome. know if you need anything else. Okay. Thank you. Okay, um, we have an iPad on the call. Um, not sure what your name is. I just asked you to unmute. Unmute. Okay, yep. thank you so much. I come in on late. This is Vera Moore. I come in. I have to put. Oh, in. oh okay. Hi, Miss okay. Vera. I, <laughs> okay. I, I, I come in I late, so I'm gonna have to watch the video um, once I'm off because I come on late. It was a lot of information to try to get, you know, um, pull together at one time. But I want to go back to uh, Dina's question about airdrop. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, with. Sometimes you try to send the video and it says it's too large. Is it mm -hmm. that the instance when you can airdrop something? Well, that if a video is too large to send, sometimes you try to send a video with my uh, grands and all. Can you um, airdrop it? Will it help if you yeah. airdrop it? Or yeah, it does. It just depends on the file. So depend on the video. So if it's a very large video then um, of course, you know, through iMessage or email, you know, sometimes the file is too big. So um, I would say you could try AirDrop as an option. Again, that's if you have another device, another Apple device next, right next to the device you want to share it from, and then that's how you can do it. But um, what I suggest is if it's like, um, like, a, you know, kind of an important video or, mm -hmm. you know, you just want to store it somewhere, I would say, um, on your iPad, you could get something like Dropbox or Google Storage, and that way you can um, upload that video to um, either of those, and that way you'll have it on another system just by logging into that respective account. So, oh. Oh. Okay. thank you. Okay. Also, I wanted to find out if anyone is informed of this of the uh, senior party at the Armory. Will they be? providing transportation from any designated area? Mm -mm. Um, so um, did you, uh, have you checked your emails, Ms. Vera? I sent out an uh, information email yesterday, uh, last night. Okay, um, I didn't check that because I've been offline. I had not, I got a new, that's another subject. I knew, got a new <laughs> um, router and I had not received any mail from Monday, 11 o'clock to early this morning. Mm. <laughs> no yeah, email. So, yes. so you just you just gotta check so your emails. I just though. got a lot of, uh, over a thousand emails this morning. Yeah. I have so just check the ones from yesterday around from seven, eight o'clock. No. Okay. That's when you send it out. Yeah, I sent that. I sent the information I'm about sure. yesterday around seven to eight. So just be check, check your emails through okay, the past day. I'll check, and I will um, go ahead with the next person. Yeah, Thank and you then, so but much. no, no. Um, transportation. You must provide your own transportation. Okay. Um, I know that, and then no bags or backpacks. You can have a five seven clutch, oh, like five uh, by seven clutch. Well, but, no, um, providing transportation to the mayor's party. I'm a check with one of the wellness centers. One yeah, of the, I, I think the wellness centers. Can, I think I, the wellness centers um actually, actually do that. that. If they can't get there to sign up, can they come down? <laughs> yeah. So okay. um, I th I think um, I think that may have been a thing like a, a few weeks ago, but I um, there okay. um, Dackle is not providing transportation. Okay, thank as you. far am I aware. Thank okay. Okay, thank you. Um, I understand that some of the rec centers and wellness centers are Fort Stevens uh, often does that. But I was just told that they pulled their sign-up sheet because I think they had as many as they could accommodate. But if you mm. call Hattie Holmes and some of the, the rec centers, um, some of them will be providing transportation. 
Okay. Would you have and, I, and I'm assuming, I'm assuming like Metro Access, um, the cab, DC cab thing, I, I'm assuming those work as well, right? So I, I, I would think so, like uh, in order to get arrangements. So if you guys have access to those services and if you'd like to go, I would see if they, they're able to take you, okay? Okay. I think if you live like on a complex or something, they they actually um um take um the bus. They give you know have bus rides too, because they have a lot of seniors is not able to get you know there. Right. So uh, hopefully you know by us you know mentioning it in the party, if you'd like to go, you can you know have some time to make your arrangements. So um, I hope to see uh, some of you folks there. <laughs> um, uh, Greer Massey, uh, did you have another question? Uh, yes, uh, Alex, I'm looking at the uh, copy of the invitation from, from the for the mayor's event next mm -hmm. week, mm -hmm. and it I don't want anyone to to be um, you know showing up and and not be able to get in. I think because of the um, it says in accordance with the new safety and security guidelines bags, backpacks, and purses will not be permitted inside the DC Armory. Yeah. Wallet size clutches no larger than five by seven inches are permitted. So things are different because I've been there on many occasions. Like I said, I do live in a, a senior building and uh, we've gone before, but things are different now. And I don't want anyone to be disappointed or be turned away. Uh, mm -hmm. I think because of the registration, they are probably, I don't know if they're going to have a, a list of seniors coming in or just how they're going to do it, but just be aware uh, in the event that, um, you know, um, we aren't registered because I certainly do want my seniors here in my building, but I can't get through. So Alex, you know, it's imperative that if you find out something, you get back with us on that. I yeah, so um, yeah, I think uh, Teresa had said they, um, she had said that they're asking to get an idea of like how many are attending because the, um, mm -hmm. uh, some are still not coming due to, you know, COVID and things of that nature. So that's um, true. I don't, um, you know, as Yvonne said, I mean, they didn't, um, you know, they aren't as strict, um, you know, as that. So I would say um, definitely if you can, if you can get registered, register and then again you know the bag policy and all of all of the things of that nature because they haven't been doing that in the past so this is all yeah. new yeah mm -hmm. so i just want everyone to be aware of the fact but they're really nice events that sh the mayor yes. has i sure will ask as, uh, as soon as we're done with today okay all right thank you no problem um miss ann dennis uh, just asked you to unmute. Do you have a question for me? Yeah, I just wanted to. Um, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, okay, I'm sorry because my, my mic did not go off. Um, uh, it, it still was on there. Okay. Um, I just wanted you to know um, my uh, goddaughter works at the mayor's office and they, they are having some more security for the fact that crazy people are running around doing all kinds of crazy stuff. So. Um, if you want to, if you can't register with the email, call the mayor's office and they will give you some information. Okay, thank you. Thank you for that as well. Okay, and, and, uh, and, uh, and I wanted to ask you, are you going to do this calendar thing again? Because uh, I don't know, I probably, some of you saw me crying. I was on the phone for an hour and a half uh, with the phone people. And they're trying to tell me that I don't have, I didn't have a uh, house phone. I told them, I said, I have a house phone and a cell phone. I just paid my cell phone bill. I'm trying to pay my house phone because I didn't get a bill. Mm -hmm. And they're trying to tell me I don't have a house phone. I said, well, I don't know what that is ringing. And I said, can't you hear that ringing? I said, that is a house phone. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, hopefully, um, you know, as, as I said last time, hopefully we can uh, do this presentation again. Oh, and um, 
And, um, but I hope, you know, with regarding to that, I hope everything goes well, okay? I'll tell you, I was in tears because I was missing you and I was trying to hear you and I was trying to argue with somebody that didn't speak English either. Oh yeah. my. That's, yeah. that's the thing that kills me. They have all these people. I don't have anything against foreigners because I got a bunch of them in my, in my family. So I can't <laughs> talk about anybody foreigners because I, 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 I have a bunch of them married into this, uh, to the Des Moines and Kanye family. So uh, I don't have anything. But if you got a job that you have to deal with the public, you need to understand English. When you say house phone landline, that means you have a phone in your house. Mm, yeah, as well. You know, I, sometimes I, I, when you can't understand a person, you can ask for another a representative. Another well, I, I, I asked for that for 20 minutes, okay? It took me 20 minutes to, yeah, so. But anyhow, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to take up somebody's questions and stuff, but I just was, uh, 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 that you know that that that's yeah. what I wanted to know because I, I yeah. missed this and I really yeah. was looking forward to this um to, to using the calendar so I'm just yeah. gonna keep on trying myself or I'll call the hotline but anyhow yeah hopefully I'll be able to do this again so just keep checking your email okay okay all right have a great day, for you, Anne. <laughs> thank you it'll work out yeah thank um, you hey Sandra thank you. did you have a question just ask you to unmute, Sandra. No, I didn't have a question. That's a scam, sweetheart. They've been calling me left and right, and I don't even have a phone. No, honey, I was on with Verizon. Be sure of what you got. I, 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 I know I was on with Verizon. I was on with Verizon because I called Verizon billing number. Oh, okay. So I was on with Verizon. Ooh. It's just that they had a foreigner that didn't understand English and, and he was trying to give me the blues and I was losing my cool because I was getting a migraine headache. So uh oh. Because I wanted I want I was particularly looking forward to this to use my calendar for doctor's appointments and stuff. And uh, so I was really upset, uh, you know. And then you tell somebody something and they, I, I tell them, I'm looking at your bill. I said, you tell me somebody's sending out a Verizon, uh, a Verizon bill and, mm -hmm. it, and, and it doesn't have, uh, uh, it doesn't have, and, and you're not getting my money. So what is, what is the deal mm. with that? Mm. Well, hopefully <laughs> you um, figure that out because that, that's definitely, that would, definitely not put me in the right mood so i hope yes so I, I was very upset because i was missing yeah, what and the next saying. time you have a customer um uh, a representative like that just hang up and dial back in and speak to somebody and uh, get another rep right <laughs> right well, i was i was sent to robots too because i'm verizon and their robots because we do not understand <laughs> i don't know what the world that they got these uh robots and they don't never understand anything and they're not helping you to wasting your time but in here, <laughs> thank everybody yeah. for thank you for your enough. support because no I feel problem. much better now. So I Great. feel the love and I feel the support. So thank you. Okay. Yes, I have about five minutes or so. Does any anybody have any questions for me? Sorry. Yes, Alex, okay. this Diane. Yes, hi Diane. How can I help hey, you? you all today? Uh, Good. Look, I I did mail my I did email my address back to uh Teresa. So mm -hmm. I I wanted um I I replied I I get confused sometimes. Take your let, time, me, okay. let me yeah. get it right. <laughs> I'll um I replied uh, to her email with my address. Uh -huh. That's what I'm trying to say. Yes. Uh, yeah they they are I will let them know that you are inquiring but they are Definitely working on um, out the details and such. So just keep checking your email for any updates, okay, Diane? I will. Thank you so much. And Diane, no make problem. sure you didn't make sure you didn't put mine in there because the gift might come to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Anybody else have any questions for me? Yes, Alex, I have a question. I want to okay. know sometimes, <clears throat> excuse me, like almost at the end of Don't the meeting. Don't roll that. Almost at the end, 
It's like when uh, Miss Teresa be on 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 the iPad. It's like everybody get muted, but then when it's about time for her to say, if anybody else have anything else to say, you know, unmute yourself. So I be trying to unmute myself, but I still be mute. Yeah, so I, 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 I I'm still I, trying I definitely... to. Um, yeah, and that's because she um, when I when I mute everyone from the start, you know, because when folks come in and they got all their TVs while the lesson is going on, it's very disruptive, right? So mm. I I make it so where they are not able to, um, you know, unmute themselves. So when uh, I I know to you know there's an unmute all button, so I made sure when I do say if anyone has any questions, I make sure that I'm able to uh, unmute folks. So I try um, to leave mine on mute sometimes is because I know my phone do ring sometimes and I can't always put it on um, silent or vibrate because I don't always hear it at time because I'm still trying to pay attention to what, what y'all be saying. But it, it's like even when I'm trying to um, raise my hands, I can't even get on that either. It won't allow me to do either one. Um, so, okay, so for the, you know, I've, you know, I've been on the calls for a while. So even when Teresa starts to do, um, you know, the modules again, um, yeah. I'll still be in there in the back to assist. So I'll be sure that when she says, if anyone has any questions, I'll be sure that, um, you know, if I, everyone can unmute. So I, I mean, for raising your hand, I mean, and just make sure you're hitting more and then you're hitting raise hand because I'm I, able I to do. see. That's what I be doing. But the thing is, it just, it won't allow me to get on there to do that. It is just, I still be on mute. And I'm trying to Wait, unmute. mute won't. or, okay. Mute. So I, are you I'm, talking I'm about raising your either, hands or e muting Either yourself? or. I'm saying either okay. or. I can't unmute. It and I also can't um, do the more to raise my hands. It's not allowing okay. me to do that. So. And then. And you say, okay, everybody say, good, um, have a good evening, good afternoon, you know, see you tomorrow, whatever. I can't mm -hmm. do that. It's not, a, and I even can't even send you a text or anything. It's not allowing me to do anything. Yeah, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Um, I mean, the mute part, I, that's definitely, it definitely works. And, you know, you know, the, um, the raising your hand part, uh, I saw that you were able to raise your hand today. So, you know, that definitely um, you know, works on your end, but I would definitely say, um, you know, if you still are uh, facing issues, just go ahead and call our help desk, okay? Okay, okay, thank you so much. No problem, have a great day. You too, um, thanks. Brenda, do you have a question? Uh, well, I just have a comment. Um, Alex, I've registered for the mayor's senior program and I'm looking forward to meeting you and some of the other seniors that may <laughs> attend. So, you know, yes. I, I'd like to see you in person. So, <laughs> oh, yeah, it'll, it'll be my first time doing that. So, uh, I'll be sure to really enjoy it. <laughs> it'll be yes. a lot of folks. And yes. that's, um, you know, that's where a lot of our, you know, the people that come and speak on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So, it's um, okay. where that we got a lot of the folks. So, uh, you'll be seeing a whole bunch of different people from the mayor's office. <laughs> well, it'd be good, nice, be nice to meet meet the folks in person. So, and then yeah. some of the things I hope I hope a, a lot of you can attend. So, you know, I'm 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 going to be there with my cane. So, <laughs> <laughs> do do you know how they actually going to be seated? Are they going to be seated like um, as, um, you know. The section. All I know is the luncheon. So I'm, it might be circle tables. I'm not 100% sure. But, my, um, Alice, do you know anything about the parking? Do they have the parking over there? Oh, Brenda? Uh, oh, I don't know. I'll be probably taking um, a, a, a lift over. Uh, I'm taking can park. Yeah, I'll be doing that. I'm, I don't drive. So I'm, I'm um, depending on public transportation. Yeah, there are oh, also, okay. you know, the streets right next to it. Um, I think that's like, um, I think A Street Southeast or um, Independence Avenue. So I know if you have like a residency sticker, then um, I think you'll be able to park there, um, depending on the on the signs, because some of them are two hours. Um, some of them are not. So, But it's also a long walk, Alex. Yeah. From yeah. A Street, it is a long I mean, walk. it's a long walk or... Even if you got an aid to push your wheelchair, it's a it's it's a long walk. A long walk, yep. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if if you're able, you know, to park and you know do things of that nature, then then certainly go ahead. But uh, hopefully, there is parking there. I'll be sure to ask about that too. Okay. 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 Great. Thank you. All right. Well, we have about an hour until uh, our next module for today oh, at one o'clock. So um, yes. I look forward to seeing you guys there. So. Um, thanks right. for attending. I Bye, hope you learned everybody. something new. And then um, if you guys have any questions, um, uh, of course, check out Teresa's email for all the emails that we have. And, uh, you know, you can always ask at the end of each of the modules. Okay? Okay. All right. All right. It was Thank you, Take care, everybody. See you, back see you later. so much. And see, see you, you later. later. <laughs>